hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how to create a post api using node and express framework last day we discussed about the gate api so how to connect with the database and uh, how to create a gate api and we actually getting all the data from database through the postman right and in this video we are going to discuss about how to create the post api so simply just go to the visual studio code and create another api so just create app dot post okay and i am using the same url and it will work absolutely fine because the method is different so in previous this was the gate and this time it is post so when we just uh, creating a response or uh, calling the api we are using the gate method now we'll create a post method and uh, this is the actually the post api right so we'll post some data into the application so simply here in the previous simply there is a callback function that is a request and response i am taking a short form and this is the post api right and let's see the post api is working or not so simply write console log and here write post api working so so for every time if you check whether the api is working or not it will be better right so simply just use the post and let's check so now just go to the console so here you can see the post api working that means we are in this section okay so these are cool so now just go to the database we have name email phone and also we have id so id is the auto increment field so if you just go to the structure we can see the id is the primary key and it's auto increment field so we don't need to concentrate about these things when we just going to simply insert anything so right so we will concentrate on the name email and phone so here we need to fill up these things so we need to pass these things from the api testing tool from the postman right so now just uh, go to the visual studio code and simply here just create a data so right i am uh, going to create a, a, a static data for now so simply just create a data obviously this should be a json type data and to use any json type data into your node application or in an express framework simply uh, just write app dot use and write express dot json and obviously json is a function so we need to use in this way this is the function so your application can understand this the response or request of all the things will be the json format right so simply just create uh, this json array we have a name email and phone so simply write name and here for now i'm just uh, writing a name suppose steve and email um like uh, colon steve at the rate email dot com and phone and obviously the phone is something so this is the random number i just going to check whether if i just want to insert but statically how it's working so now simply just going to write this thing so the query part is same so i'm just copying from the previous and here the query need to change so here the query will be insert into the table name that is the students and we need to insert uh, the data right so just use set and the question mark okay and here we need to use the second option of this function as a data and the last option is error and result right and if you just go into the postman again and let's send this so let's see how it's working so field count zero affected rows is one and insert id is seven that means one record is inserted into my application of which id is seven and server status is two right so now just go to the browser and go to the um, database and here you can see 
there is a record that is up to 6 and now the insert ID is 7 so just refresh and let's check a new record is inserted right now here you can see we inserted this data statically how we can insert through the postman so this is the main reason why we want to learn this API we will never use the static things we will do all the things dynamically so how we can do this so simply just copy these things and just cut for now and I will pass these things from the uh, postman right so just click on the body and this is the uh, I want to pass the raw data with a JSON formatted so JSON formatted and simply uh, just write this right so just have this thing and here we need to write into the invited comma so this is the format actually postman takes in this way and I'm just changing a name suppose uh, here in, instead of steep I want to add another that is Ronith and simply write the email is Ronith at the rate email dot com and this is the phone number and if I just click on send will it insert no because we are not accepting these things from here so how we can accept basically all the request we are getting from the request parameter so this is the req so i already discussed about how request is actually working so if you check my playlist from the beginning you will get each and every concept of these things right so i already discussed about these things and the links are provided in the description section so right so this is the request and i want your parameter so all the um, body uh, right so this is the data we are passing from the body and we are getting all those things that is request dot body and now if i just going to click on send will it insert this should insert so click on send and insert id 8 that means a new record inserted right so if you just go again and refresh we are getting this record are inserted so this is basically simple post request with node and express framework right so please comment if you have any questions about this video right and next day we are going to discuss about the put features that means we're going to update data so how you can update so this will be the another important video right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video and thanks for your support and for now bye bye and i will come with the put api right